Brian Chi. I'm with InfoWorld Magazine. And we're here in the wonderful New Orleans Convention Center at TechCom, uh, TechEd, sorry. And so we're going to talk a little bit about how InfoWorld uses screencasting. Um, we all, we've been doing it for quite a while. In fact, John Udell coined the phrase sc screencasting. So we've been capturing demos and putting them up on the net for our readers. I've taken that concept a little further and I capture the demos, but I cut them in with stand-up interviews shot with a traditional camera. Because Camtasia gives me the ability to zoom in on specific features as we're talking about it, it doesn't have this really big display with all the letters all greeked and small. So I can zoom in, show off the exact feature that we're talking about, and cut that into the video, and then cut out and go back and forth. It's a very powerful tool for that, and it makes significantly more um, effective demonstration videos that our readers are really getting um, very interested in. What's the reader response? Reader response has been reasonably good. Um, I've gotten comments from things like, oh my god, I can finally read the text on the screen, to, gee, why hasn't someone done this before? So it's been pretty cool. I've also done it for the Interop trade show. It's especially good when we're, like when I was doing a demonstration on Coyote Point load balancing. We were talking about it, but talking is just only so far. Being able to demonstrate it and actually show things like the Coyote Point starting up additional virtual machines to handle the load, and then when the load disappears, watch it go back. Very, very powerful, and it's like take, it's taking the demo and really punctuating it. Do you have any tips for new screencasters? My big tip is spend the money on a good microphone. Uh, a good USB microphone makes all the difference in the world. I happen to be very fond of the microphones from Marshall Electronics and XLMics.com. And I actually have this little tube, it's about the size of a cigar tube. One end is an XLR connector, the other end is a USB connector. There's a couple versions. The one that I'm absolutely in love with is the line level version. I can actually take a feed directly off a public address system and have crystal clear audio into my screencast. I've been doing that at the University of Hawaii for symposia for about a year and a half, two years now. And the, oh my God, the response from the faculty has been, oh my God! Can you do that for my symposia? And I said, no, but I'll teach you how. And I'll tell you, Camtasia Relay, even a PhD can use.